Well hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing some fun and exciting Valentine's Day decor in my home and I thought I'd share with you how I decorated my hot chocolate and coffee bar and also a breakfast nook table for Valentine's. This year I'm trying a new theme I've never done before. I wanted to have a bit of a Parisian twist. So if you'd like to know how I put this all together, keep watching. As you can see, I have quite a collection of things. I have, these are all my red and white mostly things. I also have a few things that are in pinks, but mostly I, I like to do red and white and black. So a lot of these are from the Dollar Tree, some other inexpensive places. This is an old box of chocolates, um, you know. And this year I'm gonna do a little Parisian theme, so I wanted to get an extra Eiffel Tower. And there it is. So the first thing I want to make is my coffee and hot chocolate bar. So let's see which of these things I can pick for that. See you in a Okay, this is where I normally keep my hot cocoa bar. This is where I had it for Christmas. And in fact, this is kind of leftover from Christmas. I took all the Christmas items out, uh, but I figured they're red, so they will work for Valentine's as well. So what I want to do is try to see if I can kind of amplify this a little bit or kind of change it a little bit to make it more Valentine's oriented. I might not keep everything that you see here, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, well, the first step is to get a blank canvas. So let me remove everything that you see here. I thought I would try a three-tier tray this time. And I don't know if you know that, but you can make a three-tier tray with almost anything and doesn't have to be permanent, which I kind of like because I like to take it apart and kind of be able to store it. And it's a little easier to store something that is flat. So these are plates that I think I got from the Dollar Tree, actually from the Dollar Section in Target a long time ago. And this, I don't remember. Uh, but basically, I'm going to try to make a, a three-tier tray, and I'm going to show you how you can do a temporary three-tier tray out of any kind of plates you have. I need to get one more thing. Actually, I said uh, two, one thing, but it's actually two things. So, you probably have seen these everywhere. These are kind of the ubiquitous kind of uh, Dollar Tree uh, cheap candle holders for only $1.25. And I also have this other one. And I'm going to use both of these, because they don't really have to be the same. Now, the other magic ingre ingredient is this. This I've been using forever, and we probably have had it for 30 years or so. My husband had this before I even met him, so I don't even know where he got it from. But it's basically the same thing that you use for a candle. Sometimes they sell little candle dots that you can uh, buy to kind of make a candle kind of stay a little bit kind of more in place. And I'm going to use that, and that's what makes it temporary, because basically, I'm not using hot glue, which I've heard you can use as well. But the problem with that is that I'm always afraid that when it comes time to take it apart, I may end up breaking something. So this one I know for sure is super sticky, and I know it's not gonna basically damage anything. And in this one, of course, I'm gonna put it in the bottom and the top. And you don't need a ton, you just need a little bit. You don't want it to also look gloppy and ugly. You just need a little bit on each end of kind of the strategic points there, make sure that it doesn't move around. Okay, now, and there it is. No glue required. No E6000, no hot glue, none of that. Now I'm gonna do this one. Sometimes I think it's easier if you put it upside down, because then, a little light on this one because I didn't really want it to look loopy. But you know, once you put all the stuff you're going to put on it, nobody's going to see the little loops. Don't worry too much about it. Okay. Now I'm going to do this one. Same thing, top and bottom. Three points. This one's kind of easy. You have it. Here is a 
another tray, but in this case, it's a two-tier tray. I wanted to show you again the technique of using that wax, that quick wax, to basically hold a candle holder. This is a different candle kind of holder that I happen to have. So, but it's the same technique as the other one. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to start with the backdrop. This is actually one of those signs from Dollar Tree, which I really like. And I think I can kind of float it more later. Okay, so what I decided to do was to kind of use the, the tray more, sleep, more than anything for candy. Trying to keep the low sugar. So I got some low sugar candy too. They don't call me pretty colors though. These are peanut butter from my husband. He loves peanut butter. Remember this thing, right? I decided I'm gonna take it upside down. I'm gonna head and add a little uh, hard doily from the Dollar Tree. Also, cocoa powder, my sugar, and my cinnamon. I like to put cinnamon. Now for the top tier, you really need small things. I don't have too many small things, so I had this little coffee extra and little syrup. Red Birdie. I also got this a long time ago. I think at the Target Dollar section. I decided instead of using the canisters from Christmas, I was going to use these beautiful goblets that I had that I got from my garage sale a long time ago. So these are my coffee pots, and these are my espresso cups from my little espresso Christmas section. I also had this. This is from the Target Hot Cocoa Dollar Tree section, and I thought this would be pretty here. And I have this. Pretty uh, chocolate pot that I thought would look pretty there. And of course, we gotta have some coffee cups. How about these? Also, I was looking for a straw. And finally, let's put a. It's actually like a. Actually, came with hot chocolate. And it's so pretty. So I just put some extra kind of candies in there that we have that don't have a. They're not wrapped. So, I think I can just here somewhere and finally I thought it'd be nice to add some lighting I have these little hard lights they're really cute fortunately they're not on a timer so I have to remember to keep putting it on and off but other than that let me see what it looks like with the lights off and these are And there you have it, my Valentine's little hot cocoa coffee bar. Okay, as with everything, we're gonna start with a tablecloth. Here's my little table. So I have this uh, black tablecloth. I like to do kind of like a nice red and burgundy color kind of tablescape. So let's see how it comes out this time around. And the table is round, the tablecloth is not, but um, 
You know, when you put it all together, nobody can tell. Okay, so we got our tablecloth on. So now I'm gonna put some place mats. I got this kind of crushed velvet once um, a while back on Hongos or something like that, and I still like them. They're really pretty. They're kind of very elegant. That's what I like about them. Anyway, so this is a table just for two. So I usually just set them right here. And then I have like a, a tray that I usually like to use and I kind of do different things on it and that kind of balances out the table. And it's only for two people, even though I have four chairs. So I'll have an extra placement for that as well. So we got that. Now we need some chargers. So, so these are some that I've used before. They're kind of translucent and kind of purple. I kind of fun. They get a little lost when you put in there. So sometimes what I've done is I've added a silver charger underneath. It sort of helps bring them out a little bit. So you see, without it, it gets a little lost, I think. Kind of brings it out a little bit, gives it a little extra dimension. So now for the plate, I'm gonna keep it basic. I'm just gonna keep it a white plate. Goes with everything, right? I usually like to do a napkin ring, and I have several, but I, I'm gonna go with a semi-Parisian kind of theme because I'm gonna kind of match it to my big dining room table which will be in a separate video, but I think I'm just gonna use those. So for napkins, usually what I like to do is I like to double them up. So I have both of these, and usually what I like to do is kind of do this kind of situation. So it kind of helps when you have a pretty basic plate because the napkin is sort of like the show. I hide the darn tags because I don't like the tag showing. This particular napkin has like a little detail. You can see that. So as long as I can hide the darn tags, I'll be happy. Okay, and I could iron them, you know, but I'm too lazy to iron them right now. But anyway, so it creates a nice little situation there. Doing the same thing on the other napkin. And as you can see, I sort of um, alternate the edges. So basically it's too diamonds in a way. And we're filling that center. Get rid of the darn tags. But I'm crazy. Okay, there we are. So that part is done. Okay, so here I have two ideas. I have a few of these florals that I've had before, which go pretty well with the color scheme. And it's nice to have some white to offset it. So the two ideas are this. I can either put these flowers on a vase, right? Or I could also put them inside this bag. This is a pretty sturdy bag. I could probably hold it pretty well. Um, so let's try both and see which one we like better. And these are just bought, so you gotta take the tags out. What I've done in this one is it has a bunch of uh, paper inside and that will hold, help the, the flowers kind of stay. That'll be one thought. It's kind of fun. 
Now let's see what happens if we do it on the base. I would have to put something inside to make it hold better too. But. And it would, the idea is for it to go over here. So what do we think? I think I'm liking the, the bag idea better. It's just a little higher. I have another option too, which is this vase, which I've used many times before. That might be pretty good too. And this one does have foam already in it, so it has no problem hanging in. Hanging on to these. Hmm, that's kind of nice. I'm gonna go with that one. I think I'm gonna shoot it up a little bit more. There you go, and then I have a few extra loose ones, which is always nice to put up there below. There we go. And no table is complete without candles, right? So let's see if this will work. I kind of like to keep it in the tray because if I have to move the tray, it's a lot easier, but I also like to make it functional and I don't want to burn the flowers if I put on the candle. Okay, that's good. Okay, I also have these, but I don't know if I need them. Okay, but I also do have this votives, which I think are nice. We'll probably disperse them around. Okay, change of plans. What do you guys think? Should I keep the white or should I do this one? Which is the one I was going to do when I forgot. I think I'm going to keep it to that one. It's a little bit more elegant. Goes with the pori thing, the Parisian theme. Finally, we gotta put some glassware. I have these cute champagne glasses. And I have these other ones, but they broke. But I got these. A little bit. And I figure, I don't know. The plate is pretty, so I don't know if I want to hide it so much with a big napkin. So I'm making the napkin a little smaller from what I had before. And it wouldn't be Paris without some lights, right? So let's see if we can light up this Eiffel Tower. Fairy lights with little hearts in them, so thought they'd be apropos. There we have it, and we can always hide the power pack on the bottom. Lit up and see how it all looks. Okay, lights are on. Now the last and final step. It's always a fun one. And you get to be a little messy. But how about some rose petals?
as a final touch and to bring in further that Parisian feel and vibe, I decided to bring in a backdrop. This happens to be nothing more than a shower curtain with a hand-painted view of the Eiffel Tower. I thought it complemented the tablescape nicely. The idea here is I wanted to create a feeling as if we're having breakfast while looking out into a Parisian street. Hey, at least we can dream, right? Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed seeing how my Parisian Valentine's Day decor theme develops. And I hope that it has inspired you to try some new fun theme in your decor. Something that you have never done before. That is what we're all about here in this channel. Inspiring you to dare to try something new. Stay tuned for future videos where I'll be tackling other Valentine's projects around the house, continuing to develop this theme, and learning and exploring along the way. Happy Valentine's!